Hi darlings! This video is about razors shaving. This is a tip, this is a revelation, and this is something for you to keep in mind because I just found this out and I didn't know this and um, I'm glad that I know it now so I'm sharing it. Okay, you know that phenomenon that happens, it's happening every day, right under your nose, it's happening everywhere. Girls are stealing their boyfriend's razors because their razors are better than ours and they are stronger. We all know this. This has been happening, okay? I love a good phone game. I was playing games on my phone and it was one of those that was like, you know, coin based. And of course they want you to buy coins, right? So I'm never gonna buy coins like for a phone game ever. <laughs> That's just silly. Um, but if you offer some kind of promotion, like, maybe you might get me hooked, right? So the game I was playing, don't even remember what it was right now, they offered me a free starter kit for Harry's razors. Now Harry's razors is um, supposed to be a man, a, a male company. Like their razors are supposed to be for men, like er, men. But everyone knows that guys' razors are better than girls, so I was like, okay, sure, whatever. I will do this, sign up for this little promotion, get this kit for free. I'm gonna get coins in return for the game that I'm playing that's probably based in China that's stealing all of my information anyway. And I'm gonna have a razor that's really good and better than my girly razors. Why not, right? <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> so, to my surprise, I actually didn't think that I would get it. I, I figured that they just wanted to steal my information. I have a PO box, so that's what made me feel like a little bit better about just like signing up for this promotion and then, you know, putting my full address. I think I might've paid like two or three dollars for shipping, which that's how they get you. The, those two or three dollars you could have just spent on the game for the coins, so I get it. But I still got something in return and I will always prefer to have something tangible in return for what I spent versus like silly game coins. I'm the type of person that will park my car in a garage and then really not want to pay to get out, so I'll validate. And if that validation means that I have to like go to Target and buy something or go to a cafe and buy a snack or go eat lunch somewhere and like whatever I do ends up being yeah probably more than the parking itself but if I can validate and then my parking is paid I got like a tangible thing for the same or more amount of money that I would have spent you see what I'm saying so some time goes by I actually forget that I did this I already I the coins are in my account I'm playing my little game everything is great and then I go to check my PO box and what do you know my Harry's box has arrived. I got this Harry's razor handle. You can see it has the H for Harry on there. Um, so I got a Harry's razor handle. I got Harry's shave gel. And I got one Harry's razor for two or three dollars, whatever it was I spent on shipping, that's actually a really good deal, okay? So, like I said, these razors are actually very strong. They're very good. They are five bladed. I had to count, okay. And really, it, when you get one in the kit, like it ends up being just one. This is a four pack from something else that I'm gonna talk about in a second. Um, yeah, so this handle you can reuse over and over and over and then you can just buy more razors. You can buy their razors at Target, at um, convenience stores, or online. Let me tell you about this shave gel, the scent of it. Now I didn't use it because I don't want to walk around with this scent, but if you've been single, as long as I've been single, you want to keep this. You want to put it under your cabinet. You want to take it out of the cabinet. You want to just go ahead, pop the top whenever you're really like needing the scent of a man around your house. Okay? Yeah? It's so good. Not the point of this video. But I will say that was actually a really good deal. So that is my tip. 
if you are ever offered a promotion from Harry's or if you go on their website, I don't know if this is um, a long-standing promotion, if it's something they keep on their website, but if you ever get a trial for one of their things, go ahead and uh, do that for the two or three dollars for shipping. I think it's a really good value. So that's my tip for, for men and women, like whatever. If you use razors, go ahead and uh, do that. Now, here's where I got got. I really liked the setup, right? So I went back on the Harry's website to see if I could order another one or just order the razor to see what the process was. I didn't really like know how their system worked. While I was on their website, I scrolled all the way to the bottom. On the bottom of their website, it shows the other brands and companies that are affiliated with them. And to my surprise, they are affiliated with the company Flamingo. Flamingo is considered like the women's shave and waxing company. And I've been using their body wax for a couple of years now. And it's actually really good. So the one that I'm gonna show you is the wax strips. I'm just, I don't have any of them on me right now. I'll show a picture of it, but the wax strips, they come in a two sheeted strip. You open the strip, then you have wax on both sides. You can put it wherever you put it and rip them off. They're actually very strong, very good. And I love the little um, wax away wipes that they have for after so like you know how after you use something like that you get that like sticky residue they have these special cloth wipes you use that and it the sticky comes off like magic so i was really surprised to find out that they were like sister companies now here is where it got tricky right because i went to target and i saw that they had flamingo razors flamingo razor handles Harry's razors and Harry's razor handles. I will show you. This is the flamingo razor handle. Uh, their symbol is the little flamingo there that's basically like a little pube that they <laughs> curled up into a flamingo. <laughs> um, I, you know what, maybe that's clever. I guess it's clever. You, you can tell that it's a flamingo from looking at it, but it also like every time I look at it, I think of it as like a really long pube. Um, and realized that it's the exact same as the Harry's handle, I was like, oh, I can just put Harry's razors on my flamingo handle. Hello, Harry's. You just pop it on, right? That's on the Harry's, pop it off, pop it onto the flamingo. Look at it. I'm thinking I got the best of the both worlds, like pink handle, but like a real man razor. I go to Target. I go to Target and I decide I'm out of razors. I need more razors. At Target, Flamingo Razors, I saw the little box, four razors. They each have five blades, just like Harry's, okay? Eleven fifty-nine. Here's a photo. Then I was like, that's kinda high. I don't know. I don't know, is that high? Then I was like, let me just look at the Harry's, so I'm standing at one aisle. I turn around, I'm on the other side of the aisle, right there, there's Harry's. Harry's razors, a pack of four, five blades each, 10, 29. How petty are they? Not even just like a dollar, but like a dollar and difference. Why? If they both fit the same handle if you're selling the handle they both fit the same handle why so i walked out of target with the men's duh for like a dollar difference right it's bad enough that feminine products are taxed and taxed extra um everybody knows that so i don't know like that's not even the tax like that's literally just a difference in price that kind of pissed me off so you know it's a good thing this isn't a sponsored video because <laughs> I'm gonna tell you how I really feel. But I was out and I have the handles already, so I was like, okay, I'm going to buy razors because I like probably needed to do it like that day, like was probably going somewhere, you know? Um, but in the future, I'm going to look for a better um, shave company, a better razor company, a more transparent company, a company that either works just for women or maybe, um, 
a male company that just does men razors, but they're really strong and they don't even bother making feminine razors that are like the wrong price. Or, you know, maybe there's, by now, is there a unisex uh, razor company by now? I will say though, the Flamingo wax strips that are made for women are very good. They are very good. So I'm probably gonna keep using those, but they don't, but there's no price discrepancy with those. And I don't think this is like a target thing. It wasn't, these were not sale items. These were not clearance items. Those were just like regular white target tags. So I really don't think that that is the issue either. Was kind of thinking that I was, you know, cheating the system, getting a deal. And then what do you know? What do you know? So when I have more answers, I will let you know. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks.